There's been a lot of advances uh, and, and a lot of technological advances uh, in, in pulmonary and critical care medicine. My uh, field currently uh, is uh, related to lung transplantation. There's been uh, tremendous advances in, in that over the last uh, 10 years in particular. And as a result, if you look at the early outcomes after a lung transplant, we've gone from um, one-year survival rates of 75% uh, just uh, perhaps 10, 15 years ago to 90, really close, pushing 95% um, now. And in fact, uh, we were ranked uh, among the top centers in the country in, in pulmonary medicine by U.S. News and World Report uh, in, their, in two years in a row now. So we're very proud of that. Pulmonary hypertension uh, means that there's high blood pressure in the circulation of the lungs. And it can be due to a variety of different factors um, and can be quite complicated to try to discern what is the underlying cause for the pulmonary hypertension. And it can also be difficult to, to make the diagnosis. The symptoms tend to be nonspecific, uh, include things like shortness of breath and fatigue. And the diagnosis is not always immediately apparent. So when we see these patients, we have a structured approach to their diagnosis and management. The good news about it is that there are uh, several medications that are out there and available to, to treat it, and, and sometimes we see dramatic response to these medications. And so we would suggest that at least initially that, that a patient be seen initially at a pulmonary hypertension referral center, such as our center, to make sure the diagnosis is correct, make sure that they're on the right regimen, and we work closely with the referring physician uh, and, and, and manage them going forward. Uh, at our uh, program, again, we have a team approach towards dealing with these patients. So we have a dedicated nurse coordinator, we have a pharmacist, we have a social worker that can help uh, work through getting uh, medication authorizations. Um, we have a dietitian. Um, we have access to other specialists. So we have cardiologists, uh, radiologists, um, rheumatologists that we work with closely on, on many of these uh, patients because they tend to have, they, they can very commonly have other things going on beside their lungs. So they may have a heart problem, they may have a, a rheumatologic problem. Um, and so uh, we're, we're feel fortunate to have access to all these different experts in different areas that we can consult to help us with these patients. The teamwork, the spirit of teamwork and the culture at this institution um, is, is very impressive and I think that has a lot to do with the success that, that we're seeing in all our programs, not just lung transplantation, but all our, our programs.